Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I see my faces might be over something. All right. So hopefully this, I'm using a different program because I'm doing this one on the Chromebook. Hopefully it all works out great. Now today uh, is Thursday, which is exciting because you don't have school for the next, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, so I won't see it till next Tuesday. And today's lesson is quite short. It's pretty nice, pretty easy. Uh, it's something that I think is interesting. It's taking a text file that's quite large and throwing it into a program. It's very easy, but it is nice to know that you can you, you don't have to create your own text files. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to look at this class I have. It's called Student Perspective. Now this is lets me see things from the student's perspective hence the name student's perspective. And when I, when you look at assignment, so if you look at your assignment for today, um, there should be a document in there. So if we do view assignment and assume that this is today's assignment, you should see something that says mascots.txt. I'll move this down. So mascots.txt, if we click on it, now what we wanna do is download it, but we can't download this um, perfectly. So if I open up in a new window, since Chromebooks can't hold lots of memory, what we do is we click on download. So click on download. Uh, oh, download complete. Show in folder. And so what it does is it puts it into your Google Drive. And I thought it gave you an option on whether you want it in your Google Drive or not. But here it is. It's in the Google Drive. And so I have did this a bunch of times. So you can see mascot.txt is right here in my Google Drive. Great. So uh, that's where we want it. Um, so now when we are in Teams, we want to bring, or Teams is the name of my file, um, but uh in trinket if i instead of creating a new one i want to upload one so i'm going to click on that and then we want to pick it from our google drive so uh we could search for it mascot.txt maybe i just say a mascot Oh, it popped up right as I hit the button again. Slowly but surely, this is going to pop up. And then we are going to uh, find our mascot.txt, and then it will bring it into our program. Mascot.txt, perfect. And so we're going to open that up. And there it is, it's in uh, in here. Now see mascot.txt, if we scroll down, these are the names of all of the college uh, teams in the entire country. And if, it's, if more than one college has the team name, it's written more than one time. So there's higher probability we'll get it, um, a, a team name that's more popular. So if I go to main, what I want to do is I want to bring in this entire file. And we do it the same exact way we've been doing everything so far. So I'm going to do file for, oops. Here we go. File for equal open. My computer's freaking out. Chill out, computer. Open. Open parentheses. And this one's called mascot. That txt. And we're going to put an R there. And then we are going to call this mascots equals, um, what should we call it? Or we'll say file four dot read dot split lines. That's what we do. All right. So now we're just going to randomly pick some value from that all of the mascots possible. So we can say the fighting, and instead of just the five or six nouns, I forgot how many, not very many, we're gonna pick it from all of them. So I'm just gonna type in mascots, 
down here. So it, your computer doesn't care if there's five files or 17,000 files. Uh, they're all right there. So it, it's the same to the computer. So it's going to just randomly pick from there. So I'm going to run these. And you can see over here we have the jumping leopards, fighting panthers, defending rebels. And each time you do it, the hustling hawks. I wonder who they're, they're, where they're from. Uh, the colonels and the clippers. So that's just a neat way that you can pull in all of the college sports teams instead of just uh, creating one all on your own.